Hello and welcome to this video on sp3 hybridization and the formation of CH4 that is methane molecule. In this video we will explore the concept of hybridization and how it relates to the formation of methane one of the most important molecules in organic chemistry. Hybridization is the mixing of atomic orbitals to form hybrid orbitals that are better suited for bonding. In the case of carbon, when it forms four covalent bonds, you can see here carbon has formed four covalent bonds with four hydrogen atoms. It undergoes sp3 hybridization where 1, 2s and 3, 2p orbitals combine to form 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals. So, let us dive into the details of sp3 hybridization and the formation of CH4 molecule. What is hybridization? In order to explain the characteristic geometrical shapes of polyatomic molecules like CH4, NH3 and H2O etc., Pauling introduced the concept of hybridization. According to him, the atomic orbitals combine to form new set of equivalent orbitals known as hybrid orbitals. Unlike pure orbitals, the hybrid orbitals are used in bond formation. So we can define hybridization as the process of mixing of suitable atomic orbitals of an atom resulting the formation of new set of orbitals of equivalent energies and shape is called hybridization. For example, when 1, 2s and 3, 2p orbitals of carbon hybridize, there is the formation of 4 new sp3 hybrid orbitals. Now let us see the formation of methane CH4 molecule. In CH4, carbon is the central atom. Before forming the bonds with four hydrogen atoms, carbon atom undergoes sp3 hybridization. We know the atomic number of carbon is 6. The electronic configuration of carbon atom in the ground state is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2, you can see the distribution of electrons in its atomic orbitals here. This one is the 1s orbital and contains two electrons. Here is the 2s orbital. It also contains two electrons. And there are three equi energy 2p orbitals, say 2px, 2py and 2pz. And fifth electron enters into 2px, 6th electron enters into 2py. Okay, so if you observe the ground state electronic configuration of carbon atom in its outermost orbit, there are only two unpaired electrons. That means it has to form only two covalent bonds. But carbon atom forms four covalent bonds in all its compounds. So, it is possible for carbon when it is in excited state. See here, the electronic configuration of carbon atom in the excited state is 1s2, 2s1, 2p3. That is, in the excited state, carbon atom gets its one of the 2s electrons to empty 2pz orbital. 
you see here here one of the 2s electron jumps and occupies empty 2pz orbital so this is the excited state electronic configuration now in the outermost shell carbon has four unpaired electrons so it can able to form four covalent bonds okay now i will explain the hybridization process the outermost electronic configuration of carbon atom in the excited state is 2s1 2p3 just now we have seen it now i will arrange these atomic orbitals according to their increasing order of energy okay so the energy of 2s orbital is lesser than the energy of 2p orbitals okay so in sp3 hybridization one 2s orbital and three 2p orbitals combine and redistribute into four sp3 hybrid orbitals okay in the formation of ch4 each carbon atom in its excited state undergoes sp3 hybridization by intermixing of one s orbital that is 2s and 3p orbitals 2px 2py 2pz and reshuffling to form four sp3 orbitals that is these four orbitals intermix and form a new set of orbitals so these are the sp3 orbitals one s orbital and three p orbitals are intermixing that's why this hybridization is called sp3 hybridization after intermixing we are getting four sp3 hybrid orbitals having equal energy and same shape okay <clears throat> so sp3 hybridization occurs when one s orbital and three p orbitals mix together to form four equivalent hybrid orbitals directed toward the corners of a regular tetrahedron you can better understand the concept of sp3 hybridization by graphic representation of orbitals here this one is the nucleus of carbon atom around this nucleus i am going to show you only the outermost orbitals of carbon 2px orbital 2py orbital 2pz orbital these three orbitals are mutually perpendicular to one another and 2s orbital and these four orbitals have one unpaired electron in each okay now these four orbitals intermix and form four equivalent hybrid orbitals you can see how they are forming 2s orbital plus 2px 2py 2pz so these four orbitals are intermixing and formed four sp3 hybrid orbitals okay if you measure the angle between any two sp3 hybrid orbitals see here it measures 109 degrees 28 minutes the angle between any two sp3 hybrid orbitals is 109 degrees 28 minutes and these four sp3 hybrid orbitals are directed towards the corners of a regular tetrahedron that means if you join all the corners of these three sp3 hybrid orbitals we get a regular tetrahedron structure so 
let us join the corners of sp3 hybrid orbitals this is one equilateral triangle this is another equilateral triangle this one is another equilateral triangle and this one is the fourth equilateral triangle that means there are four equilateral triangles in the tetrahedron structure okay you can see the tetrahedron structure here i am drawing it okay so it has four equilateral triangle that means all these sp3 hybrid orbitals are directed toward the corners of a regular tetrahedron okay so these are the equilateral triangles so this structure is regular tetrahedron structure okay in sp3 hybridization each sp3 hybrid orbital has 25 percentage of s character and 75 percentage of p character now let us look into the electronic configuration of hydrogen atom hydrogen the atomic number of hydrogen is equal to 1 it has only electron in 1s orbital you can see here and the shape of 1s orbital is spherical shape it has only electron in 1s orbital okay now i will show you the bond formation this is the nucleus of carbon atom around the nucleus of carbon atom four sp3 hybrid orbitals are directed toward the corners of a regular tetrahedron and the four hybrid orbitals of carbon overlap with 1s orbital of each of the four hydrogen atoms the bonds formed are sigma bonds you can see here here 1s orbital of the first hydrogen atom it overlaps with sp3 hybrid orbital here end to end overlapping will take place for that a sigma bond is formed okay one sigma bond has been formed here 1s orbital of the second hydrogen atom overlaps with this sp3 hybrid orbital forming one more sigma bond and 1s orbital of the third hydrogen atom overlaps forms one sigma bond 1s orbital of the fourth hydrogen atom overlaps with this sp3 hybrid orbital and forms one more sigma bond so these four sigma bonds have been formed due to the overlapping of 1s orbitals with four sp3 hybrid orbitals okay so this is the structure of methane ch4 molecule okay now i will show you the three dimensional representation of methane molecule this representation is called wedge and dash representation these three are the wedges this one is the solid wedge and these two are the dashed wedges and this is the solid line only okay so in wedge and dash representation the solid wedge this one the solid wedge is used to indicate a bond projecting above the plane of the paper and projecting towards the observer that means this hydrogen is towards me above the plane towards me and the dashed wedges these two the dashed wedges are used to represent a bond lying below the plane of the paper and projecting away from the observer 
so these two bonds are away from me okay and the normal line that is this one shows the bond lying in the plane of the paper so this hydrogen is towards me and these two are away from me and this is in the plane of the paper okay thank you